Uh, auto loans? Yeah. Credit card interest rates have been rising. Yeah. Private student loans have been going up? Yes. <laughs> now, <laughs> I'm, I'm really very concerned because... <laughs> Uh, the longer you've made me wait to have my rights enforced, <laughs> the more expensive borrowing costs have gone. Well, I informed you in 2018. Yes. I informed you in 2017. Oops. Uh, 2016. Yeah. In fact, I sent you an email on November 15th of 2015. And every day you sat there and said, well, we just don't have to enforce the law. Now, um, I'm missing out on some borrowing uh, because of your refusal to enforce the laws. <laughs> and when I think about borrowing, yes, because I do. Yes, he does. <laughs> See, there's what's known as purchasing property because of the availability of credit. Yeah. <laughs> now, my credit score is probably up around 650, 680. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you issue the dissolution of marriage, oh, my wife said that I made all the financial decisions. <laughs> Oh, as I remember it, we had $180,000 worth of unsecured credit. Yeah. You really stuck it to me, didn't you? Pooch! You said while well, we couldn't find them, that sewer service of process. Yes. You gave my wife uh, an order for support based upon an income that I had earned uh, five years prior to that. Yes. And then when I inform you right now, I'm telling you, I'm very, very concerned that I will not be able to afford to borrow any money. Yes, because you will continue to refuse to enforce the laws. See, let's say I applied. Yes, for a loan to buy a house. <laughs> A year ago, a year and a half ago, my interest rate would have been 1% lower than it is today. Yeah. What's that look like over 30 years of mortgage payments? Well, on a $300,000 home, 1% a year is what? Uh, 3%? Uh, uh, 1%. Yeah. $3,000. Yeah. Take that times 30 years. Yeah. That's $90,000 in additional interest expense. See, I'm missing out on the availability of power!